Hey guys, it's Cyber Monday. I'm here with Jess, and here's uh, some light shipping that's happened. Most of that's whatnot. Some of it's eBay. And we've uh, sold a fair amount this weekend over eBay. I can't compare to last year yet because we waited for Cyber Monday to be over before we ran those numbers with you guys. And I just don't think it's fair. But one of the things that we did to uh, that was different this time around is we had a big whatnot show. And that was on Saturday. Yeah, that was on Saturday. And we did over 1700 in gross there. So if you factor that in, we've already beat last year if you don't factor that in we're, we're in a deficit over last year but this year we did have like two months of no listing which uh we're just now bouncing back from i feel like and so that's kind of a big factor we're gonna pull some orders though so it's cyber monday we did an order pull already once this black friday weekend on black friday itself so this is uh order pull number two of what i deemed the black friday weekend which we just called, uh, last year we called it Thanksgiving through Black Friday. So five days. Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday. Yeah, does that be five days? Yeah. Start pulling, because we actually have 53 eBay orders to pull right now. And um, just gross sales doesn't necessarily mean everything. Of course, like your cost of goods and stuff like that is something to be factored in. So this is It's actually really cold today, too, guys. Like, I don't know. We're uh, thinking of some alternative heating ideas. They have those 240 heaters. Uh, two, uh, so 240 volts and instead of, like, the 120 or whatever. And, like, you can hook them up into the ceiling, like, the corners and stuff. And they're, um, I mean, obviously, with more juice like that, they can get a lot hotter. So we're thinking about something like that. Because, like, right now this is unsustainable, and I don't want to dump the 20 grand into a heat pump. I really don't want to do it. But, at some point, is it going to get more expensive? That's our second monitor that we started using uh, for whatnot. And I'll tell you, it's so much better than doing this <laughs> during the show and, like, squinting. Like... Yeah, so much better. Uh, 192 has Ole Pro-X Advanced Cleansing System. And this is something I picked up at an estate sale. It's maybe 192. It's 192. It's maybe 192. It is. It is. I told you. <clears throat> okay, let's do all the non-media stuff first. 213 has a banner. Now this is a good one right here. So this is a Cuisinart pasta maker attachment for like your uh, mixer or whatever. And we sold this, this is brand new, for $129.99. Does anybody remember where I bought this? I know I bought it, but I don't remember, obviously. But I don't know, I don't remember where, but... We got more money for it than I thought we would get, which is pretty awesome, because usually it's the other way around. <laughs> so that was fun. That thing's actually kind of heavy. We sold this vintage Chicago Cubs. This is a chalk line jacket. And we sold this for $55.99. We really gotta do something about this stuff on the floor, though, after this weekend. It's right here. So I bought this. I want to say I spent like five bucks. But it finally sold. Uh, of course, jackets are going to sell in the fall and winter. <clears throat> and more so. So I bought this in the uh, spring, summer. So, like, you know, I should be expecting. Oh, we just sold something else. It's a game. That's cool. We did have a pretty good game sale. This is cool. It's over here. Oh, it's over here. Um, I said I wouldn't come back to the media section. So... Just saw this at a garage sale that we both went to. I think it was a quarter. Yeah, and we paid a quarter. And this sold for $66.49. So good job, Jess. Ooh. It's... So we sold this on Overstock Shell. So if you guys remember, I bought a bunch of Barbie and Department 56 from this one lady up in her attic. 
And this uh, is the Power Bridge of London, and it sold for $189.99. We had a few of them, like three Power Bridges, but it took like all three of them to make this one. Yeah. So it, it is... has really delicate pieces that snap real easy. Yeah. But it's okay because we made plenty of money off that purchase. And we did factor in, and she factored in the fact that, um, you know, it was coming in that condition. So I'm happy to sell that one for $189.99. Uh, $195 has another Christmas esque item Mr. Christmas Winter Wonderland. It's a music box, and it sold for $39.99. And here it is. Wow. It does have a power cord, but this one doesn't specifically come with it or batteries. This is Ethernet cable on the ground because we had Wi Fi issues during our third whatnot, and that solved that problem completely. So this is a Dachshund dog planter. And this sold for $22.79. Just sent out offers. It says, note from buyer. Thank you for the offer. Keep on picking, my friend. So I'm guessing that's a viewer. Thank you very much for your purchase. Uh, our shop does say pro picker on it, so I don't know. But if you're a viewer, thank you. Catacow Tripoli. This is brand new seal. This one's actually pretty surprising, guys. This is like one of the fancier ones, I think. Yeah, it is. And so like Tripoli is good. That's a good pick, but like, this is like the special edition with a rotating turntable. So this sold for $69.99, which is awesome. This is, uh, what's great. I think what's nice about these videos, I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but like, first off, we have to do this anyway. So it's like a perfect like content opportunity. Not gonna lie. But on top of that, like you guys actually are seeing what sells. You see that we actually do sell this stuff that we're picking from the videos, so... I don't know. That's a ramble. 116. We got new wave uh, oven parts. It's the drip pan and tray, if you want to grab that, Jess. 116. Um, I'm not really sure why it goes from 114 to 144. Oh, that's off site. I'll grab it. It's prohibitively high. I wasn't gonna try. Oh. See, I am useful. Brains, brawn. <laughs> what? I, I hardly think I have the brains, but. <laughs> brains and brawn. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to hype you trying up. Trying to, yeah. I was trying to hype you up there. Oh, this next thing's in my car. It's a. Oh, Ankia. Yeah. So uh, she picked this up actually, Here. right? In a lot. Of, I'll grab this. I never one. made it a video yet because, like, I don't know. I try and curate the content these days. It is cold. We suffer together as a family. Ah. Oh. Does that make you? Why, why didn't you just have me pick it up? Oh, this one's not that heavy. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess it is it's all. Kind of like a hollow. It is all hollow in there. So, oh, we're running out of space. Whew. Here. This is a cold, it's a cold day. This is cold. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, this lay it there. there. So this came out in a lot that you picked up, yeah. I don't. Or remember. was this one of mine? It, um, it might be one of yours. I, I do buy significantly more receivers than she does. This sold for one of three ninety nine. She did. She did pick up a recent lot. I don't know if this is from it. Oh yeah, that's not from it. No. That's that's and we've this, had this that. This one's for almost a while. certainly mine then. Yeah. Uh, but still, good job, Jess. Hey, thanks. Batman Forever. This is a Jess pickup. She actually texted me because we were at different yard sales, which is the strategy we used last year. I don't know if it'll be the strategy next year or not. Uh, or this year, I mean, uh, splitting up like that. But it is not in two tenders. No, no way. Oh, because it was probably on top of 210. So. Yeah, it's probably over here. Batman Forever. 
um, board game, and she texted me all these board games, and they were, like, pretty reasonably priced. So I think I was like, yeah, get that one, get that one. Uh, if it's not, it's off-site. It would probably be behind you. And... X1 label. Yeah, that's down here. I think it's X. this. Is this the X label? What? Skew. I think, well, you're going to have to look at that and make sure that's what yeah, it is. That's good enough. Yeah, 2019. Yep, that's it. 31 dollars on this uh, iPad Pro 3rd Gen Keyboard Folio. We did sell an Easton Press, which I think that one's actually over there. You think so? Well, I mean, if you want to go look at it now, we might keep meaning to do media separately, but my brain's like, nah. That's right there. Great expectations. Oh. So this one sold for $27.99, guys. And this is an Easton Press book. So Easton Press and Folio Society are both pretty decent bolos. Like, the thing is, is that this one's 27 They're all over the place in value. This one's $27.99. You'll have another book that's worth $300, and it's just wild. Like, yeah. So, like, you're pretty safe if you get them at sub $5.00 just to straight up buy them. I mean, depending on your budget, but like, you know, your finances. You know, if you start paying more, you kind of have to know like the values or look them up and stuff. Uh, 44 Sockety shoes here. These look new. I bought these at the thrift, or uh, at the flea market. Uh, they, I just sort of pick, they, look they might not be. Oh, I think they are. Oh. Cause I was gonna buy them for myself and then I was like, nah, sell them. This is a Kenwood receiver. Uh, manual. Why are we? Oh, this is all over the place. Because it's cold. I can't really think. It is by Kirkland, so Costco. And. Can't beat it. I'm having one of those days. And it was probably on the top at the other place too, so. 1981 Mastermind here going out for $21.59. Uh, it is sealed. So, I mean, if you see that, I probably wouldn't buy it if it wasn't sealed because that took over a year to sell. So just a little heads up there. Um, we sold in $169, so I guess this was missing some cards. So this sold for $9.99. This would usually be like 25 bucks. If it was like complete. It's missing like 20 cards. That's rough. 34 is a Peter Millar quarter zip, which Jess has right there. 37.99. 206 is a St. Nicholas Square deal. And it is like a small little accessory thing. Oh no, this is Santa with a reindeer. And that sold for $17.99. We sold in $167 an Alps Outdoors Whitetails Unlimited Duffel Bag. And that actually sold for $39.99. Which should be this one. Okay. We've got uh, Sims Men's snow ski snowboarding pants and that's at 62 and those sold for 39.99 and then we sold an ornament it is winnie the pooh 44 oh. and it is the keepsake motion magic ornament that's it is it yes $15.99. We'll do media. We'll start at the top here. So we just had a sale. It says to a repeat buyer, if you... I can never keep track of this in my head, so I feel really bad. If I think this might be a viewer. If so, thank you. Um, it I, also says repeat buyer if they buy more than one thing, too. I recognize the name, though. So they bought Kirby's Epic Yarn. Uh, Family Game Night 4 on the PS3. Family Game Night 4 on the PS3. 
And family. Mario and Sonic. It's written on the spine. London. Oh. Blue. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 here. Sold for $19.99. We've got Band Heroes sold. And this is on the Nintendo Wii. And this sold for $9.99. I'm trying to figure out which one actually sold. Because... Did we only have one Call of Duty Black Ops 2? On the uh, Nintendo Wii disc only. $14.99. We did sell... Uh, Shadow Squadron, which was from the big video game purchase about two months ago now for $59.99 on the Sega 32X, which is uh, super cool and complete. We sold NCAA Football 13 for $39.99, which is right here. We sold... keep going... Sold 12, too. Yeah, we sold 12, which is right here, for $19.99 in CAA. We sold Wii Sports Resort for $29.99 right here. And then we sold... Uh, I'm, uh, okay, so this guy is a viewer of the YouTube channel, and he appreciates us and our content. Mm. Thumbs up emoji. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your purchase. I do appreciate it. I'm always like, do I say their name? Do I not say their name? But thank you, because <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to like give up the info. That this guy like Shadows of the Empire, which is a cool near launch title for the N64. There, we've got two Perfect Darks, and it is. I can tell the difference if this will just load. It is this one without the little pen mark. He bought another game as well. He bought a hat. A hat. Oh. So the hat will grab. It's a Patagonia hat. And so everything sold for 64 something. 37. Huh? 64.37. It's kind of 64, and you bought two 64 games. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, but thank you very much, man. Um, we got uh, this sold for $29.99, guys. Super Mario Brothers Wii. We sold a brand new copy of WWE 2K20 on the PS4, PS4. which we don't. There we go. That's right here. And that sold for $27.99, brand new. We sold uh, Zelda Twilight Princess for $19.99 on the Wii, which is, we have two copies of that. And, let's see, this, they're both <laughs> Nintendo Selects, of course. Uh, one is CIB, it's this one, because this has the advertisement for Sin and Punishment. So, Nintendo Wii stuff going out the door today. So, this is something I bought off of Whatnot. And I paid up, so I had to get the exact amount that we got for this. Uh, $59.99 on this. On uh, the Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy for the Nintendo Switch. We sold Mario Kart Wii on the Wii for $29.99. I know that's our only copy of it, so Forza Horizon. We've sold so many of those lately. Uh, Forza Horizon 3 on the Xbox One, which puts us in this territory. And this sold for $12.99. We sold Just Dance 2020, and this is sealed, and we sold this for $12.88. We sold Mario Party 9. Which is right here. And that sold for $54.99. And that's it for the media. All right. So I'm going to move all this back. Then we'll do uh, figures, red lines, vinyl, HBA, all that kind of stuff. I got a box game in there. I want to be a little careful. Oh, Lord. There was nowhere to put anything. <laughs> okay. Before we pack this stuff up, just to make some space, we're going to take this. Load it in the car. And get it out of here. 
because it needs to go. We need the room. That's one of the reasons, like, Whatnot's kind of nice on a selling side. Like, our average order value wasn't really, like, crazy. It was, like, eight bucks plus shipping or something on our last sale. But, I mean, it's getting rid of it. Yeah. Some of the stuff, I, I know some of the stuff is flippable that we did sell. But, hey, that's fine. I think I get a lot of flack for, like, overbuying on boxes and shipping supplies, but... You do? It's for this. Because... You actually get flack for that? Yeah, sometimes. From who? Sometimes in the comments. I've never seen that. Uh, well, I, I, saw, I saw it once, so therefore it's happened multiple times. It's only happened <laughs> once, baby, because I'm... <laughs> Nobody's giving you, nobody even gives you flack. I think you've gotten flack like twice and then they just use you to. Oh. Because that's what you would want. Okay. Uber. That's sold for $9.99, guys. Mm hmm. Um, I think we sold. We sold a Avon Rare Diamonds. Avon Rare Diamonds. $19.99 on that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we already got that lot of candles. And that person left a note, uh, by the way, the candles that said thank you. Oh. No, thank you. I think we sold. Oh, we sold some the, cricket cartridges. The Bond Girl Forever. We already pulled that, I thought. No, because it's. No, we, we have multiple. Bond Girl Forever. We've sold. I, I, uh, oh, we do have the Avon Bond Girl Forever in the box. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Well, we sold another See, one. Of there's them. this one. This is one I got at a community sale. And then. $37.99 on this. Back to the top. I'm going to put this down then. The cricket cartridges, if you want to grab those, Jess. I'm going to get. Uh, in that box. Uh, I don't know what I did with the cricket cartridge. Oh, they're right there. The cricket cartridges are next to the the heat source. I gotta find it. They're right there. It's all behind the pile of uh, refurb stuff. Which I did not put there. Yeah, well, we don't know where to put it. <laughs> well, actually, it's, it's the ones that are on top, I'm pretty sure. Printing 101, Jubilee Celebration, Teardrop, and All Mixed Up. Sure. So there's. Oh. oh. The guitar had had enough. Yeah, these are the ones. These sold for twenty nine ninety nine. Then we also we already uh, we have a box that's a Stephen King. And some figures and some Hot Wheels. Oh uh, yeah. Well, let me get. Uh, let's see. Dolly Parton. I don't remember what it sold for. Dolly Parton sold for $21.99. All right. And then we sold... A New Harvest First Gathering. A Pink Floyd album, I believe. The Dark Side of the Moon? Yes. For twenty seven ninety nine. dollars Several Dark Side of the Moons. It is the one labeled Carrot. I don't know why I started naming them vegetables, but I did. Well, I'm next to the red line, so. I don't see the book. Hang on. I mean, I know it's there. Let's see. It's I... Blaze. Which. It's not. Oh, it's Stephen King and Richard Bachman. Blaze here. Uh, if you want to pan over. This sold for $12.99, guys. I think it's these two Hot Wheels. A 1968 Firebird HK, or I guess that's Hong Kong, and a 1968 Redline Beatnik Bandit. Um, yeah, and uh, $9.99 and $14.99 for those. And then we sold a Hawk Han Solo 1980 Kenner figure. Uh, in a blue jacket. That sold for $11.49. He might be in the other one because I know we had several. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, that would be the one. Is that everything? Yep, yeah, this is a eleven forty nine, and I think that's everything, guys. We got a few things that we said need to be pulled from elsewhere, storage, whatever. 
and that's what we're going to do. Uh, first things first, we're going to get this stuff to the post office. Hey guys, so as usual, this is just unscripted off the cuff, especially being the second channel and all. So I want to do a fair comparison to last year's video that I put up on the main channel. So we had five days that we counted as the Black Friday weekend of sales. So we're going to count those same five days this year and kind of see how it went. Um, I'm pulling up the calculator and everything here, and we're going to just add them up right here. So we started on Thursday last year, one Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yep. So those are the five, five days we're going to count. So uh, this Thursday, this Thanksgiving was uh, pretty awful on sales, to be honest. And so that's 355.29. Then we had Friday ended up actually being pretty good. So Black Friday, not amazing, but pretty good. 724.15. And then we bumped up on Saturday to 844.89. Did I say eight, four? Yeah, I did that right. Okay. Uh, you feel free to double check this because I'm like looking between two monitors here. Uh, Sunday, 880.48. Pretty good. And then Monday, we did 585.31. This is going to 585.31. So this is actually quite the deficit here, guys. Uh, I don't have like screen share up. I'm just like sharing my tab because I clicked the wrong thing. But I will put a picture of what this calculated out to. We'll just grab that there. And yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a difference because we did three three nine zero and 12 cents and then last year we did forty one hundred thirty eight dollars and 18 cents i will say that we probably had better margins from the stuff that we sold this year because it was uh, more yard sale and somewhat thrift heavy so not really an excuse or anything what is kind of uh i guess funny but still good for us is that then that tuesday which doesn't count towards the total. We broke a thousand, a thousand dollars and eighty, a thousand and eighty nine dollars and ninety one cents. But then we had a couple rough days, so it's kind of up and down. Now, if you wanted to count it, the uh, whatnot show, I could pull up that real quick. They do this recap, which is pretty nice, like right after the show ends, like it, and I do like that summary of your whatnot show. So I'll just put this in there but our whatnot we did sell a total gross of 14 26 and 32 cents so if you want to look at it like how much we sold over the five-day period if you count that in we sold 48 16 44 and the, and so that's what a good almost $700 more than we did over the five days last year. So take it for what you will. Do you want to say that um, it's uh, actually my birthday today as of the time of recording this. So I don't know. I was kind of thinking we might do like a live stream or something like that. But it's kind of like impromptu. And I feel like I, I wouldn't want to go live on the main channel and just do it on the second channel for like algorithm reasons. But then I want to drop this video on the second channel and I don't know if I want to do a double drop in the same day. So I don't know. We'll see. You'll see this when you see it. But I do want to thank everybody so much. I, I had a ton of birthday wishes on both Facebook and Instagram. And I, I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. Does mean the world to me. And I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. If you haven't already, maybe go check out the playlist. It's on the Pro Picker channel and uh, not the second channel. And that playlist has all of the Vlogmas videos and all of the forthcoming Vlogmas videos. So if you want to follow along and honestly, just watching that playlist really means the world to me because like, you know, I am putting in this extra editing effort during the busiest sales time of year too. So it's definitely uh, 
a lot of additional work on my part. So I really appreciate if you go and watch those videos and keep up with the Vlogmas. But anyways, going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.